Hey guys, how's it going? Today I bring you a 2012 Cadillac CTS. I'll, gi I'll give a full in-up tour of this car. I'll start it up, show the engine, and go over a lot of the features on the interior as well as the exterior. I have had a I've been having a cold for the past couple days, so excuse my voice. But anyway, let's go ahead and start it up. This is a rental car for our Escalade. Its wipers stopped working, so we have to give that in. And it's only it's pretty new. I'll explain that when I do the video on that when we get it back. I'll also do a plastic dipping video on the Escalade as well too, so check that out. But anyway, let's go ahead on in. It does have a remote start. I'll demonstrate that by the exhaust. And for the revving clips, I usually do revving uh, during the tour. But it's, this is on reserve gas, so I'll do a separate revving video. So I don't waste gas on this and a separate revving video. But anyway, I'll start it up so you guys how it's done. Lock it twice. Hold this button to start. It is pretty chilly out, too. It's not that cold, about 40s or 50s. And press it once to stop. But let's go head on it. It's a black exterior, black leather interior. Fully power driver's seat with power lumbar. Your locks, your window controls, your mirror controls, your seat memory, and the board. You have some carbon fiber trim too, as well as contrast stitching. Three thousand three hundred eighty two miles on it. Start it up. Very nice feeling steering wheel. A little bit of side bolstering grip here. Let's go ahead and turn on the hazards. Headlights are fully automatic. And we'll go ahead on the outside. One touch automatic driver window. Like I said, it's a black exterior. LED tail lamps. This is a rental car uh, for our Escalade. I mentioned that already. I have a couple acceleration clips on it. I'm not going to be able to do a method start on this video, probably. I might have one, but I'm not sure. I'm going to make this a pretty quick tour, too, because uh, I don't have that much time right now, and the guy's coming to pick this car up and give back our Escalade in about an hour and it's also lunch time for me soon so yeah this one cannot take E85 ethanol our Escalade can same with our Hummer actually our Hummer can't but this can't take E85 oh your standard rims have a couple scratches on them but they're not bad I don't really like the styling of this that much. I really like the new XTS though. The XTS is the higher model. This is the middle model. And the ATS, the new ATS, that's the base model. Competing with the uh, the uh, BMW 3 Series, I would say. This is probably competing with the 5 Series. And the XTS may compete with the 7 Series. I don't know about that. but Anyway, I just gave a quick... Uh, walk around of that so we'll go ahead and open the engine now I I just got this and uh, I don't know how much horsepower and stuff it has so I'll add in annotations it is a pretty nice engine bay really clean a lot of plastic parts it looks like they don't want you touching this engine a lot same with Lexus too Lexus has a lot of that but I think it's a V6, I'm not sure. I can't really see how many cylinders there are either. It's mostly covered up. But you do have a race up top for structural rigidity. Otherwise, it's a very nice looking engine bay.
I'll just rev it a little bit like this. But like I said, I'll rev it more in the uh, actual revving video I have. Go ahead on inside now. It's a very light hood. I could probably close it with like one of my fingers. It's a six speed automatic transmission. You do have a reverse camera over here. Now you do have sport manual mode. Up for gear up. Down for gear down. Can't shift out of gear two unless you're actually going that speed. You have very nice silver trim here. Everything is very nice and angular. That's what I really like about this car. You have more of that contrast stitching I was talking about earlier. And I, I'm well on my videos now. Are in multiple parts. I mean, are like edited together. This one I'm probably gonna do just in one part, maybe a couple parts. But I'm not gonna bother editing this video because it's not that big of a video. But uh, you do also have manual adjusting steering wheel. Just tilting, no telescoping. I have your driver information system here. Your radio here. Actually, I'm just gonna cut it, cut the engine out, save some power. Say some gas, sorry. You do have a radio. You can get an optional uh, XM radio, but this is a rental car, so it's not equipped in here. For different presets. Your tune. iPhone speaker and microphone is not that great, so I'm trying to do the best I can. Whoopsies. Very nice clock here as well. Traction control. FM, AM, XM, your information. your overall menu here. CD, auxiliary, configuration. Here you have your uh, two zone climate control, heated seat option, three stage, your temperature, fan speed controls both sides. AC, your power for everything, automatic, recycling, ventilation, passenger, front defrost, rear defrost, different zones. In here, you have two tier. In here, you have a power outlet, no auxiliary port, no USB, though. You have a panoramic sunroof. press another time to open the actual sunroof. And a cool thing is, if you leave it open this much, you can pull the sunshade in to cover that much of the sunroof. So if you just want a little ventilation or something, and then you close it all the way. You can close this more if you like. And then finally you close this all the way. Close this all the way. You have your SOS and OnStar and all that stuff. Auto dimming rear view mirror, your garage home link, your LED, uh, your book lights, not LED though. More of your carbon fiber trim. More of your contrast stitching here. Fusions. 
I'll stop the first part uh, now. I'll edit it in the second part, but this is what I'll do for now. We'll check out the rear and trunk and everything in the second part, so check that out. See you guys in the... Well, I'm just going to edit it in, actually, so... It's not like it's going to be a separate video, but I'll edit it in. So, uh... Yeah, the second part's going to be of the rear seat and everything. Hey, guys. Alright, well, this is the second edited part of it. I usually edit it a lot of different parts of the cars, but this isn't a big car. Like, it's, it's not a big deal. So that's why I didn't do that. But, uh, yeah. It's a Bose sound system. We'll actually go check out the rest of the car. Your trunk open here is too. Your back's about that roomy. Okay. I'm about 5'8", I'm about 2 inches of headroom. Different zones you can choose from here, closing the vents. Over here, you have a little pole here for cup holders. Very nice style dash, I really like what they've done with it. Handles here. More carbon fiber. We'll go ahead and pop the trunk from here. Not a bad sized trunk. You do have a cargo net over here as well. Attaches to over here. You also do have your spare tire under here. Handle to close. What I'm surprised is it doesn't have an emergency button to open it. Just in case like a child gets locked in here. A lot of cars have emergency buttons, but this doesn't. That's interesting. Power window, locks, carbon fiber trim, power passenger seat, power lumbar, more of the contrast stitching, nice logo on the back here. Okay, so I love the one here. Here you see on all that, your vents. I like how the carbon fiber and the contrast stitching wraps around the whole dash. Let's do a nice sweep of that. Alright, I think this video is about done, so I really explained most of it, just briefly. Because I have a video on this car, I think, on my channel, too. That's a bit more in-depth. I think you can check that out. And uh, that might be just an eye time, I'm not sure, but yeah. So I also have a brutal revving video on this car. I don't know if I'll have a method start, sadly. But uh, you can check that out. I, I have some C-Class videos, Mercedes C300, full videos on that, 2012. So you can check those out. And I, uh, uh, yeah, I just had the engine off now to save some gas because the fuel's level low. The fuel level is low. And I wanted to do a revving video, so, yeah. You can check out that video and my other videos on my channel. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Please, no negative comments. 
Uh, and I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Take care.